line tonight compared to what you saw to them in the midget? Well, they were much better. You know, I mean, that's what we need. I thought, uh, I thought all, all the guys played well. I mean, but we need, we need that out of them. We need them to be producing goals, uh, being factors. Uh, you know, so it was a good, uh, it was good. Not that they were bad on uh, against Bemidji, but uh, they were better tonight. Was this the power play tonight? Last week you said the power play you saw wasn't the one you saw in practice. Tonight was that the one you saw in practice to start the season? Closer, you know, closer. I thought we did some good things. Uh, I thought we had some other opportunities to, to, to score, but uh, we'll take the two. I'm never going to argue about that. But uh, it was a little bit better. Uh, yeah, we'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow there's not as much room, so we'll probably get a little more pressure. So we've got to respond to that. And hopefully our guys get some confidence off to tonight. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, power plays are a lot of it's mental and confidence. So if you get some goals, hopefully uh, our guys keep building off that. It seemed like even in that first period power play, you moved the puck well, even though you didn't score. Was that a, a confidence boost, or were you worried after one that you know that you, that you had to crack it? Uh, it looked a little bit like we started at the Bemidji, yes. Uh, well, there, was, there was some things, but not a lot happened. Uh, and sometimes that power play is set up as delaying a bit, but uh, you know, I guess when we didn't get the opportunities, we didn't capitalize, so the most important thing is that. But overall, that was the, the difference for us. We won the special teams game, and we won the hunt game. Pian and Jonathan, uh, what's your thoughts right. on those two outputs? Uh, it seems like they took a step from last week. Yeah, I thought they were both yeah, I mean, obviously week. they played I thought they played pretty well last week, but you know, first time, uh, you know, they're probably excited to play Minnesota too. But um, you know, I thought Adam, you saw some of the plays he made and opportunities, and he looked pretty really solid. But I just liked our whole team outfit tonight. I thought we were we were a little much more in, in tune with you know trying to play a 60 minute game and mm -hmm. like I said they're, they're a good team they've got a lot of skill they can make plays and you know what I thought we, for the most part we, we did a good job limiting their second and third opportunities they got some in the third but that's when you need your goalie to come up big and um, I thought he played very well tonight when he when he needed to. That Walensky to Johnson to <clears throat> Thomas uh, power play goal there can you get any more perfect than, than how that one went right no, it's, there? It's always great when they, they, they actually uh, you know, capitalize on some things that you, you draw. But, you know, again, that's how you have to score. I mean, you got to, it's a great shot. I mean, but that's, you know, a couple quick passes and a quick shot. And usually that's how you can beat both of them. You know, it's not the stick handling, it's not the, the slow passes, but there's real good execution on that and it ended up in the back of the net. All right. I'm not sure which was bigger, the goal you scored or the penalty you drew to, to, get, to get the penalty. Uh, what kind of happened there along the boards? I couldn't see you guys were right in front of me, the, the penalty you drew on that gates. Uh, I was just uh, kind of moving my feet and I made kind of a fake and he put a stick right under my feet and okay. you know it just happened that you know, when you hit someone's skates you fall. So. <laughs> What you see on that, that goal, it looked like the puck bounced right off of the post that Pionk shot there. And, uh, yeah, we were, right we, were, we were snapping the puck really good on the power play. Uh, you know, Dom's group was good, our group was good. It was just uh, Tony made a good feed over to Neil. And, you know, we, we talked a lot about last week and how we didn't shoot enough pucks. So Neil just fired one, uh, hit two pipes. I thought it was going to be his first, but that was just, <laughs> I just happened to be right in the middle. A little surprised to see the puck bounce right to you there? Or? Yeah, it was maybe puck luck a little bit here. I don't know, but uh, it was nice. What was it that allowed you guys to have just more success and, and feel better on the power play? Was it just, just you know, be willing to throw more pucks on net? Yeah, I'd say pucks on net, uh, moving it, not holding on the puck too long. Uh, we worked on it a lot this week. Uh, it was definitely something we wanted to stress on. Uh, you know, power play, penalty kill. Special teams are huge in this league, so it's definitely something we worked on, and it was good tonight. Well, I was going to say, you seem to have good luck against this team, especially in this building. Is it the big ice surface? Is it, you're from, we've said this many times, you're from Illinois, not knowing the rival when you come here. Is this just a game that you get up for, or is it, or is it this building with the big ice sheet, or what do you attribute that to? I'm uh, not sure, a little bit of everything. Um, Fans, maybe they like they get into it. It's pretty fun, fun atmosphere to play in. Uh, just happened. I, I've had pretty good luck here. Maybe a lot of puck luck, but uh, it's just been good. You like the big sheet? Big sheet? Yep. Yeah. It's uh, more more ice. Definitely, I play camo, so uh, he flies. So it's easy to get him the puck. You know, you know, go to the net hard, and he can make a play. So definitely, big ice helps. 
And your thoughts about coming over tomorrow and getting that home opener out of the way and playing these guys? Yeah, hopefully we can play. There's power on. I haven't checked yet, but uh, you know we're half done. We know that. So tomorrow's a big night. Uh, it's a big step for our program. So we're, we're looking forward to a good atmosphere too. Our students should be loud and proud. So we're excited. Uh, Neil, just tell me about the experience of playing in your uh, first game, uh, Minnesota UMD game. Oh, it was awesome. The atmosphere was electric uh, right at the start of the game. and. Uh, you know, I see what the rivalry is all about now. Um, it's about high intensity and competitive level, and I'm just fortunate we came out to win. Is this your, how many times have you played at Mariucci before? Um, I think twice before twice. this, yeah. With Hermantown? Uh, no, with AAA teams. With AAA teams? Yeah. Okay. Um, how different is it going from AAA to playing it, it, here in this type of atmosphere? Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, AAA, there's you know maybe some parents in the stands. Maybe that's about it. Maybe you know 50 people, but obviously there's you know whatever there was, 10,000 people here tonight, and the atmosphere was electric. And um, like I said, it was just nice to get a win here, and uh, now we got to be ready for tomorrow. I was able to get that first uh, college point and kind of take me what you saw on, on that goal you set up for Farley. Yeah, I just uh, I posted up on the far side, and uh, Camo gave me a nice pass. Um, just try to shoot it hard, try to get it on net, and uh, I think it went post to post. And uh, fortunately, Farley was right there to tap it in. Exactly, how you drew it up, right? You planned about yeah. post to Farley. Yeah, we can say that. <laughs> what does this win do for you guys after uh, you know tough loss uh, last week at Bemidji? Well, it gives us a little confidence, uh, a little momentum, um, definitely. And then, you know, so we head back up north with um, a little confidence under our belt that, you know, we can win and we can play with teams. So that's great. Any thoughts on tomorrow's game? Uh, it's going to be another good one. Um, you know, we know they're thirsty for a win, and um, we're going to look forward to uh, our home crowd at Amsoil. Thoughts on playing in the first Bulldog Gopher game and also been able to get a point in this game? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I've been looking forward to it for a long time and uh, it was everything I expected and it feels really great to get the win. Uh, take me through your first college point there. It, it looks like you, Walensky, and, and Thomas there uh, executed a you know textbook power play goal. Yeah, it was just a nice pass by Andy. I just laid it out for uh, Jared and he made a great shot. We uh, work on it a lot and um, you know, got, the kid's got a good shot and I'm fortunate enough to go in so it's good. What do you feel it was that allowed the power play to get going a lot more tonight? Um, big, the big ice sheet helps. It's uh, you know always a lot easier to play power play on that big sheet of ice. But um, you know we just moved the puck really well, um, executed our plays, and you know just I got a couple goals on it. Coming home tomorrow, any thoughts on that game? Uh, yeah, we're all looking really, we're looking forward to it. It uh, should be a fun game, and um, finally get to play in front of the home crowd. It should be great. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah.